I, I don't know what's more frustrating, trying to get my phone from 10,000 years ago, working so I can play Flappy Bird, or actually playing Flappy Bird. But I couldn't help but ask myself this question, was 10,000 years ago more fun than today? In the modern day where we find our entertainment from phones, Netflix and gaming, I ask myself this question. Was the simple life where we survived on the bare minimum a time where they had more fun? We decided to head up the west coast of South Africa for a surf trip. Beautiful, rugged landscape with awesome beaches, communities and waves. Don't expect any crazy good surfing by the way. Yeah, that's me. We packed our bags and headed up, along with a special guest that I'm going to take on an adventure as well. You're happy, aren't you? <laughs> Off to a bad start. We got a nice little, nice little vomit patch. But that's all right, eh? Because we're going to have the weekend of our life. <laughs> Not ideal. From previous knowledge about ancient indigenous bushmen that lived here 6,000 years ago, I knew there was history. And upon further investigation, I found that there are rock paintings with information on the exact people I'm trying to compare our generation to. And I need to find it. So in the spirit of this video, I'm going to press pause on my modern day fun and have fun like the ancient bushmen did. But first, I'm going to have to assemble a team. Master Chef Oli, you wanna go be a bushman with me today? No, thank you. Shit. Stang, you wanna go be a bushman with me today? <laughs> okay, so that didn't go according to plan. I guess I'll just have to go on this adventure alone. Or do I? But of course, I let her make up her own choice. So it did take some convincing, but regardless, I got my team and we're off to go have fun like a couple of Bushmen. Well, Bushmen and Bush dog. I have no idea where these caves are even. Could be ground level, could be right at the top of the mountain at Baboon Point. So I'll just have to watch out for some of the wildlife, but the answers should be up there. Oh. First minor setback, Aurora just stepped on a little thorns. Okay. Just had to sort her out, we'll see how she goes from here. Let's get out the road. Okay. Right, two kilometers in and we're, we're on the dirt road now. Can't help but think that my mates are probably sitting up at the moment getting ready to go in the water. And I'm going on a hike, trying to live like a bushman. And I mean, the waves are pumping. I guess that's what it takes to look for fun. It's crazy because I, I really don't like hiking. And whenever I'm doing it, I always just think, man, I'd rather be on the beach right now. I'm doing something I hate to find fun. Which doesn't make sense because I'm trying to look for fun without having fun. Slowly getting up, just see a whole bunch of rocks here, potential caves, overhangs. Going to use my noggin and try and get in the head of a bushman and see what the best places would be to paint on rocks. We got to go off road and we got to go climb those mountains up there. And hopefully we will find some rock paintings, but this could just be an epic fail. carried on with our trek up this mountain, keeping an eye out for any caves, rock faces and overhangs that could be hiding rock paintings and some of the answers we were seeking. And nothing. We took a quick water break to regroup. I stuck the drone in the air and we continued our quest for answers. Come on, let's go. Come on. Wow. Must be nice to just be able to go under thorn bushes. There you go. Not ideal. Going the wrong way. Mm. Is there a better path? Probably. Ah. Am I taking it? Absolutely not. Ah, mother. Fuck. Oh, fuck, man. Ah, she's getting torn to shit right here. Ah. All right, I think I'm lost. Um, the trail just gets so bushy, 
getting effed up on the legs. It's just the big face. Like there's no ways I'm, I'm rock climbing that. Because I doubt it's going to be up there. It's not going to be worth it. And I've completely led us astray, Aurora. So we're going to have to go back. I'm going to have to do a bit more research on where this place is. I want to see it. But for now, I would count this an epic fail. Because the plan was to do it myself. But uh, it's not happening. Because I'm only here for two days. And I actually want to have some of my fun. And not this. Because this is not fun. Down these treacherous paths, and then Aurora is going the other way, and I'm getting frustrated with her. And I find out she's actually taking us the right way. So, you know what, Aurora? You lead the way now, my girl. Hey, how does that sound? Wow, oh, impressed with me. I'd also not be impressed with the idiot that keeps leading me down the wrong path. <laughs> Okay, we could be onto something. I'm starting to see a bunch of the smaller buildings, but this was in the pictures. So the cave should be up there. I'm seeing a few caves. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be it, eh? Is that gonna be it, girl? Hey, we almost at our spot. Let's go. There's a path there. I wanted to go further down, but Aurora's, <laughs> she's led us this way. And since she's taken over, she hasn't led us astray. So forwards and onwards, girl. There it is. I see it, guys. Come on, Roddy. I think we're almost there. There's bloody steps up to this thing, girl. Your dad pulled a doozy on you. Sorry about that. Went the wrong bloody way. I mean, all it was, it was a five kilometer walk on a normal road and it takes you straight to the rock paintings. <laughs> and here they are. These cave paintings have been dated 20,000 years ago and they were nomadic hunter-gatherers. They farmed these lands. They hunted big game while they grazed. They worshipped the world's largest antelope, the Irland. And these hand paintings are reminiscent of the time where these people came to this rock to draw from its power. And yet, I still had absolutely no idea how these guys had fun. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> oh my gosh, they came around. <laughs> Aurora, <laughs> we've been rescued. The guys made it. Can you believe it? Hey guys! Couldn't get a hold of you, bro. I came to look for you. Oh, you guys are so sweet, man. I know. Good How's party. the walk? The walk was a fucking nightmare. Oh, did you find the paintings? Yeah. Can we drive to them? <laughs> so I went up that way and I climbed for 30 minutes oh, just to find out. It's right through there. <laughs> Did I not say it's not gonna be eye up? It's gonna be, why would they go paint on the top? Like they take some ayahuasca and they get spurred to climb a mountain and go paint at the top. No. Now I know they hunted, gathered and farmed. And as much as you probably wanted to see me running around in a loincloth, I wanted to seek what they did for fun and I failed in it. But while I was yet to notice until the edit, this fun was right under my nose. I was so busy looking, hating that hike and getting frustrated that I didn't realize Aurora was having the time of her life. It got me thinking that they probably just had as much fun as we did without all our 21st century toys. You don't need to go on great adventures all the time to have it. Fun is subjective, it's unique to you and it's yours. Everyone has fun in their own way. And as long as you have a smile on your face, I'd say you're having a pretty good time. So if I can leave you with one thing today, it's just go and have fun because it's not gonna wait up for you. Thanks for watching.